Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of November 22nd, 2021. This week we've got four topics. The first one is Joby is certifying their, well, aircraft as an airplane and not as a multi-copter. We'll talk about why they're doing this. We'll talk about the NTSB that says that accidents have been uh, decreasing in 2021, which is a good thing. We'll talk about maybe possibly a leaked SR-72 uh, found in a video. And then we'll talk about Rolls-Royce that is claiming to break records with their electric airplane. All right, let's get to it. First thing this week is Joby. Joby is creating a UAM, Urban Air Mobility Aircraft. You may have seen the videos before if you've been following us for a while, we've been talking about Joby. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid between a drone and an actual airplane man aircraft. And uh, they announced that they're going to be certifying their electric aircraft, it's an electric aircraft, as an airplane and not as a multi-rotor. Now, when you see a picture of it, well, it may not be that obvious that it is a multi-rotor, but they say that certifying it as a special category Category would mean a lot more headache and mean that the aircraft uh, is currently designed as an airplane. If you think about it, uh, it can glide on using just the wings. It has airplane-like controls and it can take off and land from a runway. So basically they're making the argument that this is an actual airplane and not necessarily a multi-rotor and they want to get this uh, going through more easily. Uh, I'm sure there is a lot at stake here because training people to fly this aircraft is going to be uh, it has to be uh, as simple as possible so that, well, they can sell as many aircraft as possible. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what the FAA says. I don't know that the approval has been granted just yet, but uh, we'll keep you guys appraised. Next story this week, the NTSB found that in 2020, there was a decrease in accidents. And you're gonna say, well, yeah, there's been a lot less flights in 2020 because people were grounded, right? Well, there's been a decrease in accidents, but there's also been a decrease in the total number of flights. And when you put it all together, uh, the NTSB says that there were a fatal accident decrease from 414 to 332, which is a major decrease in 20, between 2019 and 2020. Now, the accident rate per hour, this is what really makes sense, is looking at it per hour, uh, went from uh, 1.069 per 100,000 hours to 1.049, so 1069 to 1049. So that was a decrease. Uh, it, it's not significant as the number of fatalities that went, uh, that went down, but it is still a, a, a positive thing as it's going down. Uh, part 121 operation, no fatal accident in 2020, uh, which is fairly typical. And then part 135 operation also had less, fewer fatal, uh, fatalities, uh, 21 in 2020, and then there were 32 in 2019. The NTSB also found that there was a 55% decrease in flight hours, 55% decrease in flight hours. That's for air carriers and for general aviation, there was only an 11% reduction, which makes sense, right? Uh, air carriers, a lot more people flying, so uh, flying and uh, in, uh, in, in, in more grouped together. Uh, general aviation, you have a lot more freedom to actually fly. So uh, these are the numbers. We'll put a link down in the description if you want to uh, pick at them and then uh, take a closer look. A video has surfaced from the U.S. Air Force and, uh, and from the Space Force as well. It's called uh, Intelligence, Surveillance and Recon Reconnaissance. And in that video, it looks like there is a, an aircraft that would be called the son of the Blackbird, Blackbird SR-71. Uh, this possibly would be the SR-72. Uh, if you look at SR-72 on Google from uh, Lockheed Martin, you see that there's a link, but the uh, link actually doesn't work. Uh, this is expected to be an aircraft that is not a manned aircraft. It's a hypersonic unmanned aircraft, which makes sense uh, the way things are going. We have more and more unmanned aircraft, especially tactical aircraft. Uh, you can see the video here playing in the background. It's very quick. It's only a few seconds in that video, very short clip, but uh, we'll let you know if we find more information in the future. Last story this week, Rolls-Royce is claiming to have the fastest electric aircraft in the world, and that's their Spirit of Innovation, that's the name of the aircraft. Uh, they claim that the aircraft flew at 345 miles per hour, that was in November 16 of this year. Uh, they are submitting paperwork to the uh, FAI, which is the uh, Federation or Fédération uh, Aéronautique Internationale, that's the actual word in French, it's, uh, it is a French entity. And uh, they're looking to do certification and to do confirmation of the world record, so you'll find 
a link down in here uh, in the description if you want more information. Okay, last thing this week is Pilot Institute is having a Black Friday sale and this is going on today, very strong already. And then also for the rest of the weekend, our entire catalog is uh, available at a very steep discount. We have our private pilot made easy and our instrument rating made easy. These two courses are available for 185 each, $185. Uh, now this is a lot of information. It's 35 hours for the private pilot, it's 25 hours for the instrument rating and uh, and you get the endorsement, you get everything. It's You also get lifetime access, which is uh, not available with a lot of providers out there. So you can stock up, all the courses are updated over time and uh, if you wanna use them later, then you'll have them. Uh, head over to pilotinstitute.com to find everything. Uh, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I hope you had a great time with your family and you stayed safe and then I will see you guys next week. Thank you.